They are four words no cancer survivor ever wants to hear. The cancer is back. A sheriff's deputy who had a well-publicized bout with cancer six years ago just heard those words. Here's News 13's Amanda Goodman. He didn't give up last time. He won't give up this time. Sid Covington says his brother-in-law, Shannon Key, is a fighter. In 2007, News 13 covered Key's first battle with brain cancer as the community rallied around the Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy and raised money for him. The first time, uh, they told him that he had three to six months to live, so that's what he was told. They told him, go home and enjoy the rest of your life. You don't have very long to live. It's a prognosis Key would not accept. After surgeries and intensive treatment, he was declared cancer-free in 2008 and went back to work. But two weeks ago, a regular doctor's visit revealed the cancer had come back with a vengeance. He found out that he had 14 tumors instead of just one tumor like he had last time. At this point, his doctors say surgery is not an option. Key is being treated at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. His brother-in-law says it's mostly experimental and expensive. It's a research hospital, so a lot of the expenses aren't covered by insurance because they're experimental drugs and things like that. Already, co-workers, friends, and community organizations are stepping up to help the family out with travel expenses and more. Covington says while the cancer's return is weighing heavy on the close-knit family, the influx of support is a big help. It makes it easier knowing that people care, that they um, are willing to assist in whatever way. Uh, sometimes it's just simply a hug or, or we're praying for you, we're thinking about your family. Amanda Goodman, KRQE News 13. Deputy Key's family says he will begin a new intensive treatment Monday. Key has been a deputy for about 14 years, working in the SWAT and canine units.